North London sexual health specialists have voiced concerns over the increase of so-called chemsex. A rising issue within the gay community, chemsex involves the taking of drugs like meth, methadrone and GHB to enhance sexual experience. Taking these drugs makes you make different decisions than you would make when you're sober. It's the same as when you go to a club and you have lots of alcohol and you end up having sex with someone in the morning you think, Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Chemsex generally involves lots of partners and generally involves sex without condoms. That's going to increase your risk of getting STIs, including HIV and hepatitis. There has so far been no dedicated research into chemsex use in North London. However, data collected from Soho's Dean Street Clinic reported that 32% of men that had chemsex were HIV positive. 45% had sex with an average of 4 to 10 partners per episode and 70% appeared to be hooked, saying they'd had no chem-free sex in the past six months. Some local support groups are concerned that more and more gay men are seeing chem-sex as the norm. For some people, it's their first access to the scene. You know, if you think about it in terms of, you know, a lot of the bars and clubs are closing down. And for some people, they're using social media, so they're using things like Grindr, they're using Scruff, online dating things. And so actually, the first exposure to the scene is through the apps. You know, they're going online, meeting these guys, and all of a sudden, they're having all these sort of wild sex with these like really, really hot guys. And you can see how that's going to be attractive to anybody, right? But what's it like, and what are the consequences? Anthony has been having chem sex for several years. He agreed to talk to us anonymously. I think I've realised now that I need to start worrying about the health consequences because since starting going to chemsex parties I have contracted HIV. I mean I've lost friends that have taken too many of these drugs at these chill outs. Two people I know personally, one of them I was quite close with died. When you're there in the heat of the moment it's, it's I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, it's, it's a really good feeling, you're really having fun. But then when you're sober you're kind of like Okay, probably wasn't the best of things to do. There needs to be awareness raising. What we don't want to do is stigmatise people, you know. Whatever your moral convictions in terms of drugs might be, the fact remains that people do go out and take drugs. They do have a good time, controversially. They do actually have a good time and they do enjoy it. But many will be hoping that the growing public awareness will lead to greater research and attention for this very private practice. Rosalind Church, City News.